again love beans. Here's the avocado tree, the vines, going three different varieties of grapes, the super delicious um, tree we ate the fruits this summer. What is it? Uh, guava. It's like a strawberry guava type of thing. Just showing you some of the trees. <laughs> the hummingbirds. Super hungry. <laughs> They're fast. Okay, Tutu. I'm going to bring you to my uh, cafe. And I'm calling this cafe to transmit these uh, vlogs for you. Video blogs. Um, from my personal cafe at home. And here's my Tutu. Sit down. You're my partner in this cafe with your glasses. <laughs> this is like, Mom, please give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. Uh, but he's my partner in this business. Uh, hold on a second, dudes. So, story number two. He's joining me right here on my lap. And Mufasa too. <laughs> Story number two. I manifested a beautiful relationship where I was engaged to this billionaire um, 10 years ago. He was one of the percent of the population. The one percent wealthiest people on earth my ex and i ended up leaving that relationship as well for a reason not because i wasn't accepting abundance at the time though i thought that way before i'm like did i leave because i was in the mentality of not accepting abundance not really so i perceived that as a failure having the relationship was pure success Living in West Africa, Nigeria was pure success. I traveled the world. Every month went to London, Paris, Rome, China, India. I love India. New Delhi, Jaipur. Name it. Belgium, Hong Kong, Dubai. And everywhere I went, spending New Year's in Dubai, amazing. And everywhere I went, I had unlimited abundance. I could walk, I walked into Gucci, for instance. I walked into Versace, for instance, Chanel. Specifically, like, let me take the story of uh, uh, Versace in Dubai. And I could buy anything I wanted. A $7,000 jacket, a $5,000 purse. I have them all right now. And literally i had bags of cash in my hand at any given moment and i left that why did i leave that i left for my freedom because while i was in pure material abundance i felt imprisoned i started losing the taste i mean i had a butler and i had the house staff and i managed a healthcare company at the time in africa um, but yet I felt I was in love. I had the money. <laughs> the man is one of the most beautiful souls on earth. He is by far one of the best, beautiful, most amazing souls on earth. But he had parents that were very oppressive and difficult. His mom popped Vicodin like it's M&M's. Went through some bottle of alcohol every day. And she was best friends with Versace. She was best friends with Valentino. She was best friends with the top-notch people in London, the fashion, you know, elite world of London, the UK, and of course, Europe, name it. And again, so why did I leave all that? Why would I leave what people perceive as the ultimate success? A loving relationship and unlimited abundance. I left because I knew that wealth is freedom. Inside my compass, though I didn't have the language necessarily to express it that way, I knew that wealth is freedom, is truth, is joy, is happiness, and the ability to do anything anytime you want and create anything that you want and create any reality that you want. 
if you're not doing that, you're not wealthy. I am sorry. I'm going to break it down to you. You are not wealthy and you know it and you're pretending. If you don't have control over your time and you don't have freedom, you are not wealthy. And that's why it's so much more fun to hang out with people who are humble, humble by means and because they have a sense of freedom and they can speak their mind. But if you're struggling right now financially and you're struggling because you want to get out of a relationship or be in a relationship and you feel like, oh my God, all I do is just work and I don't have a sense of freedom. I mean, I was at, a, at an expo, the Real Estate Wealth Expo with 16,000 people. And everyone there want, was wanting to be either wealthy or in a relationship or have a sense of freedom. And 75% of these people have their own business. So they already took step number one, not working for someone, a nine to five job. Yet they were still not confident about how to go forward with it. So I want to share with you today a tool that I'm uh, sharing with my clients and it's creating abundance by overcoming your own shit. <laughs> How to do this. Okay, so welcome to my Abundance Cafe and let's do this together. When you book a reading in the session, we'll go into a much more depth with this. Like we can do a three month um, retraining your brain session in relation to abundance or relationships. But even one session alone will change your life. I'm like, can, but it will change your life, guaranteed. So one little tool I want to do with you right now. Let's give glory to the Son, the Father, Son. Thank you so much for all the abundance that is ours. Let's tap into this plasma of the Sun and imagine this light flushing, streaming through every part of our body, through every cell in our body. And so it is now. Belly deep breaths, three times. And let's remember the first memory you had with money. Write that down. I'm using a Susie Orman technique. Recognize where you got stuck in relationship to creating abundance. And release the shit now. Purge it out of you. By claiming your God-given birthright to everything. Why is it that some people are rich and some other ones are poor? Are they better than you? They are not better than you. And in a lot of cases, they're much worse than you. So, the difference is that they believe that they have unlimited abundance. They believe that they don't believe in a mentality of lack or debt. They believe that they have a God-given birthright to abundance. And so that's what we're creating right now. I am rich. I am super rich. I am abundance. I am rich. I am super rich. I am abundance. I am rich. I am super rich, I am abundance, and so it is. And you can do the same thing for love, you can do the same thing for health, people who are struggling with cancer, with their health issues, same idea. You want more, you want to heal, you want to change your life, reach out to me, I will change your life now. I'm 100% confident, and so it is. To be continued from the Abundance and Love Cafe tomorrow. I love you so much, love beings. <laughs>